Sometimes internet commenters say, never try to disarm a perp with a gun because it never ends well. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I am your host, John Correa. Today we get to see a great disarm on a robbery out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Today's video is sponsored by Backstreet Surveillance, Active Self Protection's trusted source for home and business surveillance. They offer free expert system design and quotes using their Backstreet Surveillance system design tool to help you build the perfect system for your application. They also offer nationwide professional installation, remote smartphone monitoring, and their revolutionary 364K camera to help you keep track of and protect that which you love. Check them out at the link in the description and thank them for bringing us today's video. Two shoplifting suspects stopped by the manager. The guard steps in and the woman draws a gun. You can see this here again, two shoplifting suspects, man and a woman. Guard takes that gun away from her, lickety split, then kick him out. But the guy comes back, sees the manager, decides he wants to have a fight with the manager and shoots him with a second gun point blank in the face. This left the manager in critical condition and they say they're still looking for them, but I don't know that they have any leads. Download the ASP Unlimited app for all the content you love from Active Self Protection and more with no interference from YouTube. No ads, no age gates, exclusive videos, seminars, classes, and more on iOS, Android, Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, and Android TV. Hit the link in the description or download ASP Unlimited from your app store today. Obviously, if somebody pulls a gun on you, you must realize that you've got to make some assumptions here. Number one, that it's real. Number two, that it's loaded. Number three, that they are willing to use it. And your choice at this point, if you try to draw a firearm on her, you are going to get shot. That We call that drawing from the drop. When you draw from the drop, as a private citizen, you're going to get shot because in private citizen encounters, they use this as an intimidation tool. Cops are a totally different thing. So you're probably better off when you're close at distance like this to close that distance and try to get after the gun or to comply. Those are your two choices. Instead, he decides to go in there. He kind of, you notice he kind of showed his hands a little bit to close the distance. Then he dominates, right? Deflects it away from him. So it's deflect, dominate, distract, disarm, disable. So he deflects it away, dominates the gun. She's distracted already with what's going on. Disarms her. Now we talk about the disabled. Keep her from being able to hurt you anymore. We're not talking about, you know, doing uh, permanent damage necessarily, right? So instead, he kind of stays with her, pushes her around, and puts the gun back where her hand could have gotten on the gun. I think that's a significant mistake. It's an understandable mistake. It was a great disarm. But recognize then you have her gun, you have a distance tool, you want to stay away from her if at all possible. Now then, you want to get them out of the store and get the cops on the way and get some help coming your way. Again, we don't have any indication that the other guy has a gun at this point. So take the win, they run off, okay, fine, but recognize you better stay aware and prepared. This is also why I think that as private citizens, we should be armed as well, because you see the guy show up, pull a gun, and then stick it nearby, and what our, our manager does here is pushes the guy. Well, listen, that can turn a threat with a gun into an ego encounter, and that's exactly what I think it did in this particular case, which the guy was like, oh, you really think that you can do that to me? And that turns him into a, you know an angry guy who turns and fires, because otherwise, I think he would have just fired to begin with. So if you go for that disarm attempt, it has to be done correctly. You've got to get in there and practice those five Ds plus one and get after it. Because if you don't, then you start the cycle all over again. He gets ahead of you and ends up shooting him in the face. That's a heinous and egregious crime. And listen, friends, one of the things that we talk about all the time is you can't expect a criminal to have the same moral code you do. They simply do not. And because they don't, we have to practice the things that we need to to cover our ASP.